Hello, do you want to know who books the shows, who creates the deals, who sets the ticket price, and who decides how much money the band is going to get paid? Then watch the video and find out. Hello and welcome back to my series on the live music business. This video we're going to look at booking the shows and creating the deals. So you've seen the work of the artist manager, the booking agent, the promoter. You should know what they specifically do. Now we are going to see how they all work together. The way it works is that either the booking agent will approach promoters or a promoter will find out who the booking agent is for an artist and they will start to talk to try and establish when and where an artist is going to perform. So from the booking agent's point of view, there may be a period of touring, which uh, she'll have worked out with the artist manager, usually, you know, around an album release. Okay, we're going to release the album, we're going to go on tour. There may be other concert opportunities, and these days they would be festival appearances or VIP appearances. In any case, the booking agent is looking out for when she can get her artist out on tour. Likewise, the promoter is looking for opportunities to promote an artist. So an artist may be suddenly up and coming. And also, back to festivals, if you are a festival promoter, you need talent to persuade people to buy tickets to come to your festival. So you will be approaching booking agents to get the talent. No matter which way around it is, promoter to booking agent, booking agent to promoter, the booking agents will ask the promoter to make them an offer. Now that offer is a financial offer, it's the fee or the guarantee that the promoter is going to pay to the artist. But we need some way of working out how much that offer is going to be. So in this video, I'm going to use the example of our friends Bum Gravy, who are going to play at the Lexington, which is a nice little 200 capacity venue in North London. And we're going to see how an offer would be made for that show. Now, the, in the old days, it was a good old-fashioned ticket split. So you'd sell tickets, you'd take out whatever the promoter had spent on creating the show, publicity, etc., and we'll go into some costs in a bit, and then whatever's left, you split it. However, booking agents need guarantees. They need guarantees, a set amount of money from the promoter or the offer of a set amount of money from the promoter because one, they have targets, and two, they need to tell the artist manager, yes, there's this much money coming in from live performance. So ticket splits are very rare these days. It's all based on offers of guarantees. To work out an offer, we need to know the gross potential, and we need to know the promoter's costs. And in this example, we're not factoring in any food and beverage at all. And that is standard with concert promotion, as I mentioned in the concert promoters video. The first thing we need to work out is the gross potential. And the gross potential, as the screen shows, venue capacity times ticket price. Now, the ticket price is a variable. It's based on demand for the band, what the promoter reasonably expects people to be able to pay, and other considerations. But once we've worked out a ticket price, and once we know the venue capacity, in this case at the Lexington it's 200, we know what our gross potential will be. If this show sells out, there is $2,000 on the table to split between the band and the promoter. And before the promoter can make an offer, she also needs to work out her costs. And I've just put some examples here. Even though this is probably an in-house promoter, there'll be a certain amount per show that they put aside to pay, for instance, the bar staff. A sound engineer to run sound for the main act and all the uh, support acts. Catering, as per the band's rider. We'll look at contracts and contract riders and why this particular figure is significant later on but it's a cost it's a promoter's cost the promoter will have to print tickets or contribute to an online ticketing app she will hopefully run adverts for the show and pay support acts 
and they are cost. They are promoter's cost. So all in all, plus a bit of a rider for the support axe, the promoter's cost for this evening are $700. With this information, she can then make an offer to Bum Gravy's booking agent. She knows her gross potential is $2,000. She knows her costs are going to be $700. So her net potential, if this show sells out, is $1,300. She will therefore make an offer based on that figure. Now, it's very unlikely she will offer the complete $1,300 because that doesn't give her any leeway if the show doesn't sell out. And in this case, as the screen shows, she'll probably make an offer for Bum Gravy at the Lexington of a nice round $1,000, plus sound, lights, and catering. And these are standard show contract offer terms. And this $1,000, as I mentioned, is called the fee or the guarantee. And it's all about the guarantees. Booking agents need guarantees. This now means that the, the promoter needs to sell 170 tickets in order to break even. That's to cover the $1,000 of the fee that she's going to, or guarantee that she's going to give to the band, plus the $700 of costs, yeah? She now has that information, she can make an offer. And as the screen shows, she'll send that offer to the booking agent. And the booking agent may be working on a tour for Bum Gravy, so she will be working with lots of promoters and will receive multiple offers from venues up and down the country. And she will collate all those offers and send them back to the artist via the artist manager for their perusal. The screen shows a standard booking agent's offer sheet. And it basically details the offers from various promoters around the country or around the continent, what they're offering and proposed dates. And this is basically what a booking agent does in terms of getting everything together. And she will send the spreadsheet, as you see on the screen, to the manager and say, this is what I've come up with. These are the promoters that are interested and we have a final figure. And if I just move my big fat head out of the way, you can see that if we accept these offers, remember this isn't done yet, there's no contract or anything, these are just the offers. If we accept all these offers and go off on this tour, the band will gross $63,000. The columns show who the promoters are, whether the shows are confirmed or not, the venues and the deals. And I've highlighted that particular column SLC stands for Sound, Lights and Catering, which I showed you earlier on as being a standard contract term. So there you go, a short and sweet explanation of how show deals are done. I hope you're finding this information useful. I hope you're watching it in series because it will make a lot more sense if you're watching it in series. And if you are enjoying it, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.